Yes, hi everyone. Uh, during this video, I would like to um, talk about uh, an issue, basically, that might be um, might be occupying uh, uh, parties' uh, mind to a contract, basically, either parties to a contract uh, mind uh, when they uh, enter an agreement, when they enter a contract. Um, usually, uh, usually a contract, usually um, usually a written contract, because uh, it can be as well or agreements, but um, um, uh, with regards to this topic, we are going to uh, we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about um, uh, specific clauses, basically a specific clause uh, in the in the agreement. So um, it's easier for practical considerations to uh, have something written in mind, uh, a written agreement in mind. Um, so um, let's say that uh, um, two parties enter a contract. And uh, they do want the uh, uh, the contract is basically one of uh, personal services. So let's say um, one party is going to be supplying uh, personal services to the other party, and the other party is going to be uh, paying for those services, um, and thus providing his consideration um, on um, as his side of the bargain. So um, the the question is. What will happen in case, um, in case, uh, let's say the party that supplies the uh, personal services dies? Um, what will happen uh, to the other party? Let's say the other party wants those personal services to continue, and it is it is in his best interest to uh, for those services to continue. He doesn't want any other services. He wants those specific services, and he wants the contract to continue for whatever purpose. Um, the norm is the the rule is that uh, when a party dies, a party to a contract dies, then um, he is discharged. He's discharged of uh, further of any further uh, performance with regards to that contract, and of his of his obligations with regards to that contract. So the contract basically comes to an end. It terminates, and um, he doesn't have. Um, and the party who the diseased party basically the party who has died uh has no uh obligations uh towards the uh the other party to supply any services and the other party who has been receiving services likewise and equally doesn't have any obligations um uh any further from the point of uh death of the um of the person who died of the person who supplies the services uh, apart from uh, any obligations that, of course, have accrued up until the day that the contract uh, comes to an end uh, by death. Let's say that both parties, though, um, don't want that to happen. Well, in in this case, uh, in this case, uh, the law basically says that uh, the common law says that um, when uh, when a party dies. It's um, it's uh, let's say in pro uh, in the contract of personal services, it's uh, obligations. The contract, the benefit of the contract, or the obligations, basically, uh, the obligation to uh, basically let's say the obligation to supply services cannot be assigned. It cannot pass to its um, its uh, executors. The it's it's here basically, uh, the people that are going to be in charge of the uh, the trustees basically the people that are going to be in charge of the property uh, and managing the property man managing his estate and the contract is going to be part of his estate uh, and the company obviously the company and the enterprise uh, from where he supplies the um, the services uh, from and to uh, are going to be part of the estates estate well in in this case. Um, in this case, the law says that uh, a burden of a, a burden of a contract cannot be assigned. Um, it cannot be assigned unless uh, it's this is expressly provided in the contract between the parties. Um, so, why do I why have I referred to the term assignment? Because uh, assignment assignment is basically the uh, transfer of uh, a right or an obligation and basically uh, burdens obligations in uh, contract law 
are yet uh, a bit harder to um, a bit harder to transfer, and this this is owing to the nature of the obligation, because um, let's say specific let's say a specific service. If I, for example, supply a service and I assign it to someone else, uh, let's say this this assignment. I mean, you know, this this person that the assignee is, uh, you know, perhaps perhaps he's not going to be uh, able to um, able to uh, to live up to the standard of my personal service, and therefore he's going to breach the contract with the uh, uh, the other part the uh, the other party. The uh, uh, the uh, other party basically that remains in the contract. Um, I have term to I have referred to this term assignment because when someone dies, his uh, rights and uh, perhaps his obligations might be assigned, and they will be transferred to his estate, to his heirs, to his uh, uh, through his estate basically. And the trustees are going to be managing the properties. They're going to have the legal rights um, to the property for administrative purposes mostly, and managing purposes, so that you know they can um, have some. Uh, they can basically maneuver through the uh, legalities and through the uh, uh, administrative, uh, the administrative uh, hurdles that they're going to find uh, uh, in order to. Uh, be able to uh, pass the property or manage the property according to the wishes of the uh, deceased for the beneficiaries always and um, there's an assignment basically that occurs uh, when uh, when the court um, when the court issues uh, an order that the um, the property is vested uh, to the um, to the uh, executors uh, and or the trustees of the uh, of the uh, of the deceased. Uh, so the burden cannot be assigned usually because of the uh, considerations that I just mentioned. However, if the parties expressly provide for this to be uh, to be assigned or to be transferred. Or for the contract to bind the administrators, and when we say to bind the administrators, both obligations and rights of the contract are going to bind bind either parties of the uh, either ad, either administrators or either either parties administrators. Sorry, uh, either parties uh, uh, here's other parties beneficiaries, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, they're going to be ba bound as if the contract didn't come to an end. So the contract will not be the parties. The parties will not be discharged, and the contract is going to continue through the administrators of either party. And further, it would be uh, also good um, to uh, expressly provide for this uh, for a clause such as this in a written contract. You can also you can also um, try and uh, provide it for try try and provide for a clause like this in an oral contract, but of course you are going to have uh, legal challenges in being able to prove the clause. It can always be proved um, in the court of law, but um, there are challenges with regards to oral contracts, and because it usually um, you know because it usually um, relies on words and it uh, has to do with um, memorizing, recalling events and uh, being able to um, being able to convince the court that your story is the uh, um, the correct, the right side of the story, the uh, your version of facts so it would be good also to uh, add to that clause uh, an alternative and or um, novation um, phrase which will be saying that uh, alter in the alternative the in in the uh, upon the uh, the death of either party 
uh, apart from the fact that the contract is going to be binding uh, upon the uh, administrators of either party, alternatively it's going to be novated uh, by the um, it's going to be novated and the incoming party is going to be there's going to be a, a there's going to be a, a new a new contract with the exact same um, terms and it's going to be a new contract for the sole purpose because of the sole purpose an incoming party comes and an outcoming party leaves the incoming the outcoming party is going to be the diseased the incoming party is going to be the administrators of either party of either uh, diseased and the uh, the staying party is going to remain there unless it's a disease too so there's going to be two incoming parties uh, and two outcoming parties well which is a bit unlikely for them to um, die at the same time so um, yes the uh, contracts and especially contracts of personal service can be assigned they can bind uh, both parties to a contract uh, after death and if the parties have um, agreed for that uh, expressly agreed for that to happen thank you very much i'll see you in the next video